I went out uh, in the Pine Lands, figuring I could uh, give it a shot at a fifth installment. Came up empty. So I decided to uh, uh, print uh, negatives the f of the very first time I used my 4x5. Uh, didn't have the darkroom set up back then. I uh, put a link to the video and uh, we'll see what we get. I had two compositions on this, on this fallen tree and I thought I liked the one better than the other one and the more I look at them I think I like you know the one I lo thought I liked less I like better but we'll make a contact sheet and uh, we'll go from there and then we'll print one up and we're going to use the uh, warm tone paper knowing that it's going to go darker this time so hopefully good results all right i'll print the contact sheet and uh, i'll show you when i get done This is the original, the first shot I took. Uh, it's the one I thought I was going to like a little better. Uh, I kind of like this one because I eliminated the, you know, all that sky in there. It's pretty bright over there. I think the sun was out a little brighter there, and it kind of ducked behind a cloud here. Uh, of course, I don't like that I. That tree loses. I don't mind this being off the edge because the log, you know, it's huge. It had to be three foot across. Uh, so I'm going to go with this one. And I guess we'll, we'll do it across here so we can kind of step the highlights and see what the shadows are doing. And see what we get. did a test strip of uh, the other one. I just wanted to see how bad it was going to be up here. And it's pretty bad. So I did the other one with the tree on the side. But made the decision to crop in and get rid of the tree. I don't know if you can see the separation. Yeah. You have three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve looks pretty good in there. It actually looks a little better here, but we all know this is going to darken up. So I'm going to try twelve, but I'm going to do a split contrast because uh, the highlights need some help. So we'll do a uh, test strip of uh, contrast double zero, and. Uh, I might bump the contrast up a little bit. I'll go you know, like two and a half on the second end and just see what we get. 20 seconds double zero and uh, 10 seconds uh, two and a half. Uh, still all way too blown out. So I did two more tests. Excuse the delay. I Went upstairs, made some tea, and uh, dried these in the microwave to get an idea of what it's going to look like when it dries. Put them in there for a minute. Okay. I did this one first. Uh, a little wrinkly. This was a contract double zero uh, for one minute. And I did two and a half for nine seconds. I thought it was looking a little muddy here, so I did 40 seconds contrast double zero, and uh, I bumped it back up to like 10 seconds on a two and a half. It, and it, it's like a little light here. You get a lot more detail in this section right here at one minute. And uh, this darkened up, the spot that looked like it was going to be muddy darkened up and started to look you know, pretty decent. So I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to go for uh, a whole minute on contrast double zero and uh, the nine seconds. 
on two and a half and uh, we shall see what we get when they dry. Let's take you over there and uh, print her up. Okay, here we go. Just double check the filter. Yes. I took a film holder with some film uh, out of the fridge. I got a lily pad in my pond. I think I want to try to capture it right now. The sun's out pretty uh, bright. I think with the white pad it, or the white flower, it's going to be too uh, too blown out. So I kind of want to wait for the clouds. <clears throat> it's supposed to rain today, so somewhere in between there, I might be able to run out, film a quick video, take the picture, come back in, and develop it, since I have some stop and fixer uh, all mixed up. All right, switch filters. Let's go for nine seconds. All right, let's head for the developer. Alright, there's the print. Guess it's alright. We'll see when it uh, darkens up some. Tones still tones still look a little muddy up there to me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. You know, it did look a little better once it dried a little bit. I tried to hold up the other one. But it, you know, kind of looked the same. She was a big tree. It goes a long way. It's got to be at least 30, 40 feet back. <clears throat> so, eh, it was my first picture. Or, well, this was the second. So, uh, as I always say, it is what it is. Practice makes perfect. I will see you when it dries. All right, it's a couple days later. Uh, prints dry, mostly flat. Uh, still need to get a heat press. Uh, the blacks uh, really uh, darkened up. Uh, all in all, I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, it was a little brown in here. Uh, now it's turned 
further to black. So, you know, if I'd have went for this exposure, there'd have been probably no detail in there. There's plenty of detail in the trunk. And uh, it's looking pretty good. So I'll take a picture of it with my uh, Nikon so you can uh, see it on the screen. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, you know, if you like what you see, uh, hit the like button. And we'll see you next week. Thanks.